This is the movie they always wanted to make. Show them something that wasn't an illusion. It's Sam Neill, right? Okay, now he's riding with those kind of dinosaurs. <laughs> something that was real. Something that they could see and touch. <laughs> Creation is an act of sheer will. Like, how long has it been since life? Fallen Kingdom. We'll find a way. We can't keep her here forever. Hmm. They find her, we're never gonna see her again. We gotta protect her. That's our job. Oh, blue. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. We're trying. <laughs> we created an ecological disaster. I saw that from the was it the prologue? Hey, Ellie Sattler. <laughs> Alan Grant. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I mean, you know. We're racing toward the extinction of our huh? species. Oh. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. Wow. That looks beautiful, like just that shot right there. Can it fly? <laughs> come back. I always come back. What? <laughs> They're just everywhere. That's another plane, right? It can fly, Not can't exactly. it? Oh, shoot. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh yeah, that's all right. I mean, I was already down. June tenth, nice. I don't know about you, but I was already down for this. I mean, Fallen Kingdom was like it was a downgrade from Jurassic World, uh, but it, it was it was still okay. I like where they were trying to go with more of a horror route. It just didn't all work. So that's kind of how it was for me. It's the, it's the lower end of the Jurassic Park franchise of movies. This, I feel, is like what they were always trying to do with Jurassic World. That's kind of the point of having the name Jurassic World. You want to do what Lost World Jurassic Park started to do and, you know, didn't really fully complete. Uh, but, but now you're getting it here where dinosaurs are just all over the world. That's how it seems. And uh, wreaking havoc in some cases, and in some cases just trying to do their own thing. And I guess maybe the human element is kind of what's messing things up in this case, which is kind of how it's always been in this franchise. Humans trying to bring dinosaurs back and not really fully understanding them and not being able to contain them. Uh, we're kind of our own enemy in these movies. So that's kind of how it goes. So I, I like that you kind of see the continuation of that so far, it seems. But having Ian Malcolm, Ellie Sadler, and Alan Grant come back, from, you know, the first movie and then kind of second movie and third movie, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool to see that. So I'm hoping that they're really involved in the plot uh, in this one. So that should be cool. And it's really just cool to see Sam Neill back as Alan Grant. Overall, say what you will about Jurassic Park 3, he was good in the role. He, he's just good in the role of Alan Grant. So I love to see it. Really hope they don't Star Wars this thing though. That's the one part that <laughs> I, I really don't want to see. Uh, I kind of got some of those feelings from it, just seeing some of the introductions of the characters. Uh, obviously Ian Malcolm, Jeff Goldblum, he was in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but just in those courtroom pieces. Uh, now he's getting into action. So that's kind of cool, but I hope they don't do uh, a sequel trilogy Star Wars thing here. Do your own thing, have some of the nostalgia, but really tell a, a good, true story to what you're trying to complete here. I, I assume this is the completion of this trilogy. Who knows? Are they going to continue things with this cast or... I, I, that's the part where I'm kind of like a little bit lost. Like they haven't really said, unless I've just missed something. If this is the last one in this trilogy or if this is something that's going to continue uh, going forward, which I don't know. I, I think they're going to always try to find a way to bring Jurassic Park back in some form or fashion. So I'm all for it. It's all good. This is the movie that I was looking forward to though. So I'm really excited for this June 10th. We don't have a long time to wait. 
Uh, this should be a fun one. Thanks for checking this out. Members, subscribers, watchers, I appreciate that you come back and watch each and every day. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost you a thing. Also, if you could hit that like button, helps more people see the videos and helps the channel in a big, big way. Also, check out our merch. See, this is a nice hat. Uh, <laughs> there should be a line down there showing you all the different options that are available and you can check out our store, All My Mind Entertainment, and uh, see if you like something. Support the channel, it really helps out. To my Hyper Crew members, verbal shout out for you guys. Brian Tidwell, Steve-O, Dash Milner, K6013, Giro 15,000, Daniel Lopez, Kratos, Richie Chester, Arnon Steelpelt, and Jackie Pie. Thanks so much for supporting with that top tier crew. I really appreciate it. It's really awesome. That's all I got for you guys on this one. If you want to talk more, we can talk in the comments about this awesome trailer. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next video.